Hello, this is Montgomery Webster. I'm going to show you how to use my automated mobile menus in Azure. So just to give a quick demo, this is a off canvas mobile menu. Um, ex you would expect it to work uh, as you've seen the convention. And the way this is built is using Azure repeaters, conditionals, and variables to kind of automatically create this from the repeater data without having to create all those screens individually. So if you take a traditional IA, it might look something like this. There might be a few differences. Um, so from there, what we're trying to do is actually move all these um, elements into a single column um, and also list its parent element which then the repeater data can be filtered on um, and then we also have a flag sub navigation just to say whether there's sub navigation or not and this will um, help the interface determine whether to put uh, sub menu arrows in the interface so here is kind of an original uh, set of data and then this is what it would look like um, to be put in the repeater. So um, it is a little bit of work, but you know it takes less than 30 minutes, presumably, to, to make this. And then you're saving a significant amount of time um, when making that, that menu. So we're just going to demo this in Azure real quick. So you can see from here that it's using kind of a traditional agency information architecture. So now when we go in here, we're going to copy a different uh, set of data. So here we can just do control A, control copy. And here I've just opened up the automated mobile menus um, RP file for Azure RP7. So if we go in here, we can see the repeater is kind of highlighted here. So opening up the first state now double click on the repeater itself and then that will bring up the repeater and we can see the repeater data set down here so usually i just highlight the the header row first header row paste over the previous data and then when we preview it taken to the same interface and if we open it up we can see that the IA has indeed changed and all menu levels have also been changed so it's quite a time saver at this point um, and basically all you need to do is reconfigure your sitemap a little bit to to kind of utilize this and, and show a client what the full IA would look like if they if they need that kind of very uh, visible demonstration. Uh, in the future, I'm trying to make this a little bit easier to integrate into your workflow with a widget or, or a master and then make a responsive version as well so it kind of seamlessly um, transitions from desktop to tablet to mobile with a using a single repeater. Thanks a lot.